Uh, Lomas Brown uh, in with us uh, for a little while. Sam Flannel in for Braylon. Uh, Tom Mazaway, Fletch, and JB as well. Tom asked you uh, before the break, are you for a quarterback early in the first round? Your answer is? Are we talking number six? Number six. Or 18. Or 18. But no, okay. they'll be gone by 18. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, great question. I'm glad you're right. They're going to have, have to tie up these linemen. I figured, man, your linemen, if you got a good offensive line, you keep them together. You got to pay your DBs, too. They're on one-year yeah, deals. Yeah, you're right. I mean, they, gonna have, they got some question marks coming up about what they're going to have to do. But to me, you know, with how Dan and all, th their attitude is you start up front. So, uh, to me, you make sure that offensive line stay intact. For me, I'm not doing it at six. I'm just not. Not at number six. You know, if they fail to 18, that's fine. But if at number six, I'm looking at somebody on defense. We got to get, we got to make sure our defense is one of our strengths this year. You know, whether it's a D line, you show up, a linebacker, or a defensive back, you got to look on defense. So at number six, I'm. No, I You're, can't do it with a quarterback. But there are more defensive players you can get at 18. Now, what I'm trying to tell you, Lo, is this is, a to me, this was the pick you traded your your quarterback for, right. your franchise. Right. For. You traded them, Matthew Stafford. He won him a Super Bowl. To me, this is a free pick. 18 is where you pick. Right. Just, it's just, and I'm just throwing it out there. I just so, hate to pay a quarterback what these guys are getting right now. Yeah. Because you got to – I want to keep this team together. Yeah, I mean, again, you're right. They're going to have some choices. I just think we just need the impact player on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, I know Aiden had a good year. I know Houston had a good year. You know, again, you're going to have to count on those young guys to do that again. But to me, if you could get an impact player on the defensive side of the ball – I think I'm looking that way more so than the quarterback. And it's other quarterbacks in the draft, too. I know you're talking about the big four. Yep. But it's other quarterbacks down in the draft that I may look at a little later on because I'm definitely going to have to have a backup yep. quarterback, too. Uh, Ken Brown, good friend, says, hello, uh, Lomas. That's, another cousin. My cousin. Cousin. that's what another cousin. That's what he said, my cousin. Yeah, uh, what up, cousin. Lomas? want to ask you, Steve Baffey wants to ask about Peter Skronsky and Paris Johnson Jr. If at six, if if uh, your defensive guys are there, are you opposed to taking like an offensive lineman? Oh, no, that, never. Never mm -hmm. opposed to taking an O or a defensive lineman because, again, I think I, I feel that way. I feel you build your team up front. Be it your O-line, your D-line, and you go from the front backwards. You know, so to me, if there's somebody there like that, offensive lineman, you can always add depth with our offensive line. And like you said, like Matt said, we're going to have to pay those guys. You got Jonah coming up. You know, Vita, I know I think they restructured. Yeah. But I think they restructured his deal. Yeah, so I, I think, think they, he's they, one year. Yeah, so, so you got guys that you're going to have to take care of. But get a line. Get a big mm. fella, man. Where's the beef? That's it's right. coming back. No it's doubt. coming back. How about short arm guards? Do you worry about them? No, I don't worry about them as much because, again, they're, in, they're right here. Everything's compacted for them right here. Short arm tackles, I'm a little bit okay. more worried about. But a short arm guard, because things happen right here for him, I'm not as concerned cool. about it. Yeah. Fair enough. Speaking of prospects in this draft, is there anyone at number six that the Lions could pick that intrigues you the most? Oh, yeah. It's definitely Jalen Carter. I want him to slide. Cool. I mean, I haven't looked at a lot of other people <laughs> because I want the big guy. Because now you look at it, you put him in the mix – with a lean McNeil, then you got uh, Aiden, and you have Houston. Mm -hmm. You know, if you keep the cores, it, one of those you got though. But you got a nice rotation of guys that you can keep fresh, that can keep pressure on your quarterback, and especially that middle pressure. That's where you want to get the pressure at on your quarterback is up the middle. And if you could get Jalen Carter and the lean McNeil to push that pocket, it's just going to make their job easier on the outside rushing. Will Andrew Anderson or Jalen Carter? Ooh, nah, for me, I'll take Will over Jalen. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll wow. take Will because there's so many other things you could do with him. Think about it. I mean, you could put them down. 
put his hands down. You could stand him up. You could drop him back in coverage. I mean, almost like Micah. And I was just going to say I, that. I, you know I love Micah you Parsons. You know I love him. Me too. So I'm a Micah Parsons fan. John Lord says, how do you feel about Bijan getting picked by the Lions? Bijan Robinson, maybe at 18 or, you know. He I, don't I, last to 18. <laughs> Either way, B. John Robinson getting picked I mean, by the Lions. Again, I just think if they did that, I mean, to me, that's just such a luxury pick mm. because you get again, you have Montgomery, you sign, you still got DeAndre, um, and you still got some of the backups that we had here. I just wouldn't do it. I, I wouldn't do that on the back, and he's a great talent, mm -hmm. a great, great talent. But to me. No, I'm looking on my defensive side of the ball at number six, and if it's number 18, I'm looking at if I can get a quarterback, I would look more so at a quarterback than I think I would at a running back. He wouldn't be there at 18, but no. I would be remiss if I, if I didn't ask you about Anthony Richardson just because he's a Florida guy, you're a Florida guy, you've watched every Florida game he's yes. probably played in. What do you make of Anthony Richardson in this draft? Not so much for the Lions, but he seems to be one of the most intriguing prospects because everybody says he's not ready to play now. He may not be ready to play in two years, but he is the most athletic guy uh, that you could get out of this draft. How do you feel about where Anthony Richardson, uh, his game translates to the NFL? Yeah, to me, he's a Lamar Jackson 2.0. So, and what I mean by that is, you're going to have to put your design your scheme around him. You know, you're going to have to design your offense around the guy like that because, again, I think you're going to be doing a lot of RPOs with him just because of his accuracy right now. I mean, it's going to get better as the years go on, hopefully. But right now, I just don't think you, you could drop him back and have him just throwing the ball, especially at some of these exotic defenses he's going to see, the, how, the, uh, how fast these windows close in the pros. He's going to see that that speed is so much faster than it is in the SEC. So to me, if a team is willing to design their offense around him and everything, then I think that would be an intriguing piece pick not for us but for another team that that needs a quarterback like him and that's willing to wait and watch him develop the people love you lomas these questions are coming in hot and heavy oh, hot uh, and who, who who farted yeah. says lomas do you think all the quote unquote he's lazy and doesn't like football talk around jalen carter is overblown yeah I, I think a lot of that is because again what i go off the biggest thing for me is the film mm. just cut on the film now i did hear that you know some of them have a little concern with they saying that he doesn't every play, he doesn't bring it every play. But my goodness. Did Warren Sapp? That I, and, and most guys don't. Uh -huh. I mean, mo now you got your outliers like your Aiden Hutchinson. My goodness, I'd have hated playing against a guy <laughs> like that, man. Could you just take one play off? But, I mean, other than that, a guy takes a playoff here and there. So, to me, what he's done on film, what I've seen on film, man, I mean, man, you got to take that guy. You get an opportunity. Lomas, what do you think of the running backs now? David Montgomery in, Jamal Williams out. Yeah, personal, man. I love Jamal. Great guy. But I, I think I, I might have think, think the Lions made the right move. You get a younger guy um, here. He's a tough guy. Every time we would scout the Chicago Bears, he would probably be what, like one of the first or second guys that we talk about when we would scout them. Tough guy that breaks tackles. So hopefully he can come here and break tackles and be that other back that we'll need. Do you see DeAndre Swift here after this year? Man, I keep from what I keep hearing, I don't think he will be. And I love DeAndre. He's got a lot but, of talent. Oh my God, man. I think we I know we're gonna probably have to let him go. And I know we might regret that in the future if he could get himself together health wise. Because man, I'm telling you, the guy shows me flashes. And you know I don't say this much. You know I don't let this blasphemous about to come out my mouth, but he got something that the little number 20, I see every now and then wow. he'll kind of remind me with some of the stuff he does out wow. on the field. Every now and then. Yeah. And I don't say that a lot, but, yeah, man, he's a great talent. Just can't stay here. He's healthy. a beast, man. Yes. He, he can run you yes. over. He can run around you. Yes, I love it's him. It's a shame. I know. 
So, Lomas, you just mentioned Aiden Hutchinson, and I think I'm president of the Aiden Hutchinson <laughs> fan club. Not only do I love him with the Lions, but he's my favorite all-time Michigan Wolverine. What is his ceiling with the Detroit Lions? Man, I'm telling you, man, that is a great question because I think his ceiling is it, it's just unbelievable. So the one thing that I said, because think about it, he was a rookie. So I knew that as a rookie, you don't have counter moves. So you got one move, and if you don't get your one move until you learn other moves, that's it. But to me, his hustle, his determination, that's what made him the special player that he was this year. Because of the way he hustles, he's always after guys. And I'm telling you, I used to hate playing against guys like him. So the athletic ability is that he just got to continue to get stronger and continue to work on counter moves. You talk about Aiden Hutchinson. How much better, you know, whether it's Aiden Hutchinson, Josh Paschal, James Houston, uh, Malcolm Rodriguez, mm -hmm. how much better can these guys get year one to year two? Same system, same coaches, same defensive coordinator. Yeah. How big is that jump? So to me, year two, two and three, those are your biggest years to make your jump because if you think about it, year one, you're kind of a surprise to everybody. So they don't have film on you. You know what I'm saying? So your whole first year, that's the first time everybody gets a chance to mm -hmm. go up against you. Now your second year, guys got film on you. Guys have gone up against you. They know your go-to move. So now you you won't. I don't think you make big jumps in your second year, but you have to make make jumps in your second year. And then I think third year is when you re really make a big jump. But I think this year is going to be very important. Not to see. Not it doesn't have to be in terms of, of statistics all the time. Mm. Where Aiden has to have this many sacks for him to have a successful year. No, it's other ways you could grade and 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 watch a guy develop and I think that's what I'm gonna watch from from all those guys you just mentioned your Rodriguez uh your Aiden Hutchinson they don't have to be big jumps but it has to be something that you could say okay I see that he got better at doing this compared to year one <laughs>